Hey everybody, it's Lucas here from Swaggerbond and I'm back here with some more Tomb Raider 3 The Adventures of Lara Croft for the PlayStation 1 where I'm attempting to do the second level in the South Pacific Islands known as Crash Site, a very difficult and frustrating level indeed with tons of raptors and a few surprises. Um, yeah, there's a, a multitude of things we need to do here. Uh, the whole level kind of revolves around Lara getting her hands on two keys which are used to open this section in this airplane where some men have crashed, where we can get our hands on a cool weapon. So we left off here in this treehouse where this uh, kind man gave us a map and directed us to the North Shore. So that's kind of where we need to go. But we need to cross the swamp. So the map will tell us which stones we can tread on and which ones we can't. But we don't need the map because my map is in my head. And yes, this game is bugging out. It seems to be doing that a lot lately. Thank God I've got a spare copy, which I will be breaking out at a certain point. I need to uh, cross the swamp, like so. So, we're going to get to the third stone. You're supposed to jump to that one, but we can get to the third one by doing a nice running jump here. And as long as there's a stone there, you can kind of just jump on the ledge. You don't want to stay in the, the quicksand like this too often, because I thought I'd show that off to you, because you will... You will perish. So that's what what you don't want to do, guys. In any case, we need to jump from stone to stone. Um, to get our hands on the two keys is really difficult. Um, there's a level with, I kid you not, about six raptors in, like one after the other, maybe more. Um, every time I try and grab that set of keys, I've got that false sense of security, and like I end up getting hit by one of the raptors. So. I have to be on my toes here, guys. I will do my best, though. I know I can do this. At least I've had some practice. So before I cross the swamp, I haven't even mentioned, I'm going to pick up um, a secret here. There's two MP5 clips. Now, uh, I suppose one of the saving grace, graces of this level is the fact that um, you will bump into the men who crash. Now, the thing is, if they're in a fight with a raptor, do not involve yourself because if you accidentally shoot them, they will start shooting you. Um, it's a win-win for Lara if you think about it because if a raptor gets them, you can pick their carcasses and get ammo. And if they kill a raptor, then it's one less for you to deal with. So that's uh, the way I've always kind of looked at it. Right, we need to do a very precise jump here. And uh, yeah, make our way down into the uh, into the valley now so as soon as we go here raptor's going to approach us so i'm going to get in position here so i want to get as many shots on him as i can with my pistols I think we'll fight him there, boom, he goes down. Nice. So yeah, there's loads of raptors here. It's, uh, it's an absolute nightmare, really, if I'm being honest. Not a very nice level. But we can do this. As I said, the goal of this, I didn't wear this first part, is just to get my hands on Lieutenant Tuckman's keys. As I said, there's two sets of keys we can get our hands on, which will unlock something in the aircraft hangar. So, I'll do my best to try and get them. And the problem is, the place is just full of freaking raptors everywhere. Everywhere you turn, there's a freaking raptor. If we go this way, there's a raptor. And the raptor's like faster than I am. Crazy. Come on, Lara, shoot him. We got him, there we are, but yeah. One less to deal with. So now we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go this way. Up here. I think we can go up here. Right, I think this might be a trap, I don't know. Let me just check it out first. If it wants me to right, okay. Let me have a butcher's. Alright. 
Yeah, this, uh, I don't think there's anything I can do here of this particular rock, so we're going to get down. There we are. I get really confused because we do, we will need to climb on top of the plane, but I think one of the areas you're supposed to do it is uh, there's a red herring. But I do remember there's an area you can glitch onto the plane quite early. It's something you like you stand on an area, you can sort of jump and grab and slide onto it. So maybe that's what I can do. I don't know. Um, it's also a couple of dodgy caves as well. I think this is one of them, maybe. Yeah. So let me just light a flare. Because we're going to pick up... Uh, some cool items in here. I think there's a raptor or something in here. I can't remember. Or something. Some little green creatures. That was it. Start to appear. They start to try and pick this carcass. Okay, they don't seem to be appearing now, which is really weird. Okay, now they're appearing. Freaking little cannonballs they are. Definitely Jurassic Park 2 inspired. I think it was Jurassic Park 2. Just make sure they're all dead. Yeah, we got them. So, he obviously bit the bullet. But his sacrifice wasn't in vain because there's some more MP5 clips here. Good lad. That's what we want. We love MP5 clips here. Take those. We'll take the large med pack too, so... Yeah, a little bit of a distraction, but, you know. So we need to pull both levers, and this will reopen the door and put it back in the area that we need to be in. So that's the first one. I need to find the other one, which kind of eluded me now. If I could find it, that would be nice. There it is. It's very sort of hard to remember what to do. Each of these little areas and these little caves. But yeah, there's literally nowhere else to go but back out. So, once we're out, I think it's this way. Okay, the other way. We can just turn around, turn around. There we go. And it leads us all the way back out here. So, all right. So now we've done that. Problem is, I can't see. Um, see how I've I've just come out of the cave. Now I can't see. So there you go. I have to kind of move up just to get any kind of light. So let's do the next set, next part anyway. So check it out. There's a dino fight going on. So remember when I said just leave them to it? Just leave them to it. There you go. They've got rid of a raptor for us. So uh, good lads. I think there's another cave as well I can get into somewhere around here. How you doing, boys? You're doing a great job. Keep your spirits up. Uh, as soon as I go through this next area, I have to be careful because a raptor will try and attack Lara. But there are men who will shoot it for her. So you want to just quickly go to the side and quickly up here. And you'll be fine, don't worry. I'll just let them deal with it, basically. I think the men should, should help out in a way and shoot it. I don't know. Come on, just shoot the damn thing. Well, while they're doing that, I can get on with the next portion of the adventure anyway, which is the, uh, I need to climb up here anyway and deal with a, there's a, like a couple of raptors in the trees, if you can believe that. That's just madness. How they ever got there is beyond me. Maybe they can climb trees, I don't know. But I need to, oh, I was going to say, I need to observe this fight first because I want to see it. if the raptor takes this guy out, I can get the, I can get his stuff as well as his mates. As long as I don't shoot them, I'll be fine. Okay, he's, he's sort of glitched out down there. He's got him. Right, I'll just get his mate's booty. He, he won't mind. So I thought I'd just wait and keep an eye out for that. Where's his stuff? Over there. Yeah, that scream is like from up above. So we need to get into this kind of first area. Uh, it's not nice for this first bit. It's really not. It's horrible. I know exactly what to do though, so I'm well prepared. There's a little book. There's a little blighter. So I need to get as far right as I can. There 
there we are and we got it just like that a little bit of precision that's all you need right now what do we do well the whole idea is to climb this massive friggin tree and shoot down a raptor carcass which has been strung up uh, to distract some piranhas so we can gain access to the next area and get Tuckerman's keys the first set of keys that we need see I want to have both sets I'll be golden really um, I don't think it's it's too difficult I mean it's kind of like um, it's difficult but when you know what to expect it's not that difficult I know that makes absolutely no sense now but you know I mean like, I'm kind of used to it a little bit so I did get a little bit of a scare though when I was doing this earlier because I didn't anticipate the amount of raptors and I was kind of just like oh I'll be fine but um, let's get rid of this raptor at least I can get this one from a safe distance anyway so that's one thing we'll kick his booty we're going to do this today I've got a good feeling so yeah as soon as I get down below and I, I get into this one room you're going to see see it all go down there's, lo there's just too many raptors to deal with um, I have to be very lucky now and very wily and Lara shouldn't have done that type of jump because it's very dangerous and I could have broke my neck there thank you for that Lara I've shot the carcass off and that's distracted the piranhas so I could literally jump in the water now if I wanted to and I will but first there's another little secret we are going to get on top of this green foliage so here we go wish me luck guys there we are and I just made it it's very hard to spot, but there is a med pack here. And I can literally jump in the water now, and the piranhas won't touch me because they're too busy with the raptor's carcass. So I need to f sort of jump in the water now and get down and push a lever. Or pull a lever, I should say. So. Alright, I should be fine if I just drop in the water. Here we go. There we go. And what we do now is the piranhas won't touch us because we've got the carcass. They can go down all they like. Those friggin' trapdoors or whatever. But the idea is like the game wants you to cross it without seeing that puzzle. So it just wants to kill you. So that's what it kind of does. And now we're up here. I'm going to just. Uh, I have to deal with the dinos now. So bear with me a minute. This is not easy, this next bit. There's, there's at least six or seven dinos in this area alone so I've got to be careful maybe I'm exaggerating but I always like to think there's more than there is right go okay that's good it's a good a good spawn there wait for him to come out there you are one dino oh uh, 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 there is another one Don't know why he isn't, why he isn't coming for me. Aha, there's a block in this room, isn't there? So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to run to the block. Like so. And I'll be safe, trust me. Right. Don't be fooled guys because there's loads more dinos in here. So I'm like the flare. I'm not I'm not messing around here. I'm really nervous now. So I literally can't see anything now, I'm really nervous. Uh, the idea is I have to pull some levers, so I need to really hope and pray that I can do this. Okay. So you have to pull the levers in turn. So I pulled one lever, right? I've done that. There's supposed to be more raptors. I don't know why they're not spawning. 